Well, I think it's really founded on our products and services. So we have uh, new acceptance channels, new ways that people can use their Visa card. Um, we have new products such as Visa PayWave and Visa Debit that are just new ways for people to be able to make payments. Um, so Visa's helping them to, to make those payments just a little bit easier. I think 2013, like every other year, is, is a year where our brand has been successful because of the very uh, universal nature of the brand. It's, our brand really transcends cultures and language and geography. It, it stands for acceptance and convenience and um, utility and reliability around the world. And we, we know that consumers can always count on Visa to be there because of those benefits, but you know, Visa really delivers against people's expectations of how, that, how the brand can help them to live their life better. You know, we, we're looking for new ways for people to make payments and mobile is certainly um, at the forefront of those endeavors to think about how we can make it very easy for people to pay wherever they would like to make payments. You know, we really have made uh, big strides in understanding how consumers are interacting with our brand in the social arena and making sure that we're relevant and timely and interesting for our consumers. I think the one that, that comes to mind is our Small and Freuden campaign because that truly was social at the core um, and, we, and that was really fun because we started with the idea that uh, if you want people to think differently about how to use their Visa card to make small purchases, that the way to do that is to start a conversation. And uh, so we, with our agency, developed a campaign called Small and Freuden, and we started with just asking consumers, do you Small and Freuden? And consumers, understanding consumers' behavior, which is when they see a word that they don't understand what it means or aren't familiar with it, the first thing they do is do a Google search. So when people did a Google search, what they, if, they, if you had searched Small and Freuden before the cam campaign began, you wouldn't find anything. So what, what we did is we actually seeded information about Small and Freuden, and it was all just silly examples of what Small and Freuden is that didn't really tell people anything. So the beginning of the campaign was, was just a teaser. It ran for about a week and a half, where we just talked about Small and Freuden, and we really stimulated a conversation. People were talking, what is this Small and Freuden? I'm seeing Small and Freuden. I don't know what it is. And then once we had established that curiosity in Small and Freuden, we revealed that it was actually visa behind the campaign that, that, that what Small and Freud meant was using your visa card to make uh, smaller purchases. The thing that hasn't changed is that you just have to understand who your consumer is and how they're consuming media and then you have to think about your message and how that's best expressed and in what media does it work well. Uh, I, I think like all marketers, we're facing a very fragmented environment that people are living in. They're busy, they're, they're consuming a lot of different information in different places, and it's really just finding the most relevant media to use for your, who you're trying to talk to, and one that actually makes sense with your creative message. I would say that we think TV is still very important, um, particularly live sports events. I mean, you just you can't get that anywhere else. Uh, so, you know, if we're we're talking we're taking advantage of our NHL sponsorship and we're we're talking to people who are watching hockey, you know, yes, we talk to them in digital and yes, we talk to them in social, but they're watching the games and what better place to reach them than when they're watching a hockey game? I would say that our strong points are trust, that's fundamental to the brand, and I'd like to think that we're engaging. That's what, we're, what we want to do. We want to engage with our cardholders. We want them to see the value of having a Visa card. We want them to feel that every time they make a payment with a Visa card, it's a great experience and that they're happy that they have a Visa card to do it um, and that we're making their life easier. Uh, I would think that we might also, it might also be presence. I mean, they're, the, with 32 million cards and hundreds of thousands of merchant locations across Canada, we, Visa really is everywhere. 
Where we've evolved to is that Visa is, yes, it's accepted, and yes, it's convenient, and yes, it's reliable, but it really helps you to do the things that you want to do in your life. And, you know, it provides a meaningful experience. So, so we like to think about this new campaign, which is about everywhere, as being very firmly rooted in our past, but fueled by our inspiration and opportunities for the future. I guess the brand that I'm feeling inspired by right now is Hudson's Bay. And I love the way, I've always been a, a, a bay shopper, I liked the bay, but I feel that the transformation that the brand is going through, that really goes all the way from the merchandise on the floor to the, in the stores, to the the uh, communication and, and the advertising that they're doing, what the, the apparel that they're doing for the Canadian team, I, right down to the rebranding and calling it Hudson's Bay, I feel like it's, a, it's, it's inspirational to see that you can take a brand that's been around for such a long time, that has such strong heritage, and really take it into the future in a way that's meaningful for, for, for their consumers. I think it will be Google.